figure shows some parts of a cathode ray oscilloscope CRO. On figure, write the names of parts of the corresponding boxes. Starting from the top left box, the arrow of this box points to the heater filament, this small coil which is behind the cathode, the top box in the middle, which is pointing to the two parallel horizontal plates, these are the Y plates. The top right box points to two vertical parallel plates, and these are the X plates. The only empty box in the bottom, which is pointing to the hollow tube, this is the anode. Two marks for this question. Top left heater filament, top middle Y plates, or you can say vertical deflection plates. The top right box is for the X plates, or you can also say horizontal deflection plates. The bottom middle is the anode, but do not say grid. We don't have a grid in this diagram. If the four boxes are correct, you get two marks. If only three or two are correct, you get one mark for this question. Part B. State the function of the cathode and the part labeled by the top middle box. And this is the Y plates. When the cathode is heated, it produces the beam of electrons that will move through the anode, the Y plates and X plates, directing towards the fluorescent screen. This is the function of the cathode. It produces electrons by the process of thermionic emission. The part labeled by the top metal box, these are Y plates. In a previous question, we said that the Y plates are connected to the Y input. This makes the Y plates able to deflect the beam of electrons upwards and downwards. So we say that the Y plates deflect the beam of electrons up and down vertically on the screen. Two marks are given. One for the function of the cathode. You must explain any idea of releasing electrons or thermionic emission. The second mark is for the function of the Y plates, which is deflects the electron beam vertically.